Six-year-old Tyler is learning some valuable lessons at the dentist's office today. First, the proper way to brush his teeth with his new battery-powered toothbrush. You to watch how we brush, okay? Open nice and big, Tyler. When you take the bristles of the brush, you have to think about cleaning out the gum line, not just the teeth themselves, okay? So even though this thing spins, it doesn't do all the work. You still have to scrub with the spinning as well at the same time. And it's going to go all the way around just like that. And again, Lesson number two. How much toothpaste goes on the brush? Ones. And I'm going to show you how much toothpaste I want you to use. And it's very, very important we don't put too much on because he's not going to spit it all out at this age. So this is how much you're going to put on. About that much, which is less than a pig, okay? That's plenty. That's going to suds up everything. That's going to clean everything. And again, we're going to be very safe if we use that amount. Even if he swallows that amount, we're going to be okay. Why such a small amount? Well, it seems the fluoride that helps teeth resist tooth decay can also cause stains if young children swallow too much of it. You swallow the fluoride, it goes into your bloodstream, it comes up into the jaws and the blood vessels, and that's where the teeth are forming at two, three, four years old of age. When you get that fluoride incorporated into the teeth and it's too much, when the new teeth grow in, the permanent teeth, they actually come in with brown or yellow stains on them. Those stains are permanent and they don't go away. Fluoride found in toothpaste, mouthwash, and water is essential for keeping teeth healthy, strong, and cavity-free. Look at a tooth under a microscope and you'll see what looks like a brick wall with the tiny bricks held together by mortar. The fluoride is the mortar that holds the bricks in place. If there's not enough fluoride, the bricks fall out and that's how you get a cavity. How are your teeth feeling? Good. Eight-year-old Lauren Wardinsky and her mom Lisa understand the importance of fluoride. My children go to the dentist every six months as Dr. George instructs us and they have a great experience while they're there and their teeth are cleaned and they usually receive a fluoride treatment which is vitamins for their teeth. In addition to regular trips to the dentist, Lauren and her brother use a kit to help them time how long they brush, chronicle whether they've flossed, and remember to use a fluoride mouthwash two times a day. And they use the right kind of toothbrush. I always have my children brush their teeth with a soft bristle brush head. It's more gentle on the tooth enamel and it helps them to be more careful with their brushing. Having your child select the right kind of toothbrush from the large selection available can help him actually look forward to brushing his teeth. So can the right kind of toothpaste. Experts advise, shop with your child and let him pick the kind of toothpaste he likes, but make sure it has fluoride.